I guess the, the headline at this hour, it's been downgraded to a tropical storm. Is that where we are with it? Yeah, and, and it's still far from, you know, uh, over for folks out that way. Uh, obviously, this thing, we're watching it all weekend long. For a moment, it looked like it might be a Cat 5. So, so the way it looks now is it was one of the strongest storms still to make landfall in Louisiana. In terms of pressure at landfall, only one storm was stronger. That's Katrina. In terms of max winds, it made landfall uh, with 150. So it tied the strongest by winds. It tied Laura, which made landfall, of course, last year. It was one of the four or five storms that impacted the state. And then the, the last uh, island storm back in the 1850s in terms of uh, strength. So no doubt uh, Ida will be one to remember. And we talked about how I name storms continue to, to just be memorable storms. This one likely will be retired uh, as we continue to track it. Top winds now at 60. It is a tropical storm, movement still north, and the track will take it into uh, the Tennessee area here later on this week and eventually, probably by Friday, eventually before it exits the region. I mentioned how it's not the only storm we're watching. Plenty more going on in the tropics in the Atlantic. Tropical Depression 10 uh, will continue to meander in the open waters harmlessly, bothers nobody. It may briefly get a name. We'll see. Next name on the list would be Kate. Reason being is we've had Julian over the weekend, but we'll say hi and goodbye to this one. Developed uh, yesterday and uh, now post-tropical as it moves into cooler waters. Hurricane Center says we're done issuing advisories on it because it's just not not really a thing anymore. Uh, so obviously a lot going on in this map. There was an area we're watching that had a potential. Then there's this one that just the uh, Hurricane Center is just highlighting has a 20% chance over the next five days. Likely not worried about it. We'll keep an eye on it. Likely to develop is this one that will roll off the coast of Africa has an 80% chance. So could we have Kate and then Larry this week? We'll see. So still busy in the tropics. Just just a reminder, you just want to be prepared as we get to, to the peak of the season. Big pattern shows there's Ida. There's high pressure. Uh, we'll continue to stay on the easterly breeze of, of the storm. As the storm pulls away, it will shift our winds more onshore later this week.